Hey guys, what's going on? Squid Prince here. Now, before the battle begins, I would like to thank my buddy K Snake for the new icon. It looks, you know, ridiculous, man. Good work. Also, I want to thank my buddy Dark Psy, also known as Amazed Mole Wow. Uh, thank you for the new banner, dude. It looks awesome. Great job. Now, uh, if you would like to, I'll put their links in the description. Check them out. They got good channels. And now, we're versing Daniel today. Now, the name Daniel may not seem uh, too familiar, so I'll use what he goes by. LJ Darkrai. Good Pokemon uh, trainer, battler. God knows what he's doing. Check out his channel. He's becoming very successful. So uh, I'll leave his link in the description as well. Now, looking at our teams, he has a, uh, a pretty good team over here. Good standard, uh, tough things. We have Cabalion, Cafagragus, the Mega Obama Snow. Mew, Vaporeon, and uh, the always threatening Rotom in his heat form. Now, today I'm packing with me. I have my Go Goat, my Agron, Arcanine, Yanmega, my Lodic, and my always favorited Chandelier. So, uh, let's see how this game plays out. <clears throat> now, I wasn't really too sure on what I should lead with. So, uh,. <laughs> I figured that he'd lead with either Rotom for the Volt Switch or he'd lead with Cabalion as like a Stealth Rock lead. But I end up going into my Go Goat first. And now this isn't a match that I want to be in in the beginning of the battle. So I end up making a very, you know, harsh or aggressive switch very early, predicting his overheat. Where uh, he ends up just going for the Volt Switch and then uh, hightails it out of there. So now one of my, uh, my main sweepers right now has. It, you know, damage done to him, I'm at a type disadvantage because he brings the Vaporeon in. <clears throat> now, I'm not really trying to stay in for this scenario. Uh, I It's too early to risk anything with Chandelier. Now, I'm going to end up going into my Milotic, my Conventina, and he's a very smart man. He ends up double switching, and he's going to end up bringing in his Rotom. And I was like, oh, geez, it's only like two turns in, and you're, you're outplaying the crap out of me. So he's going to end up going for the Volt Switch. However, I do make a, a pretty good play here. Instead of going for uh, a Surf or an Ice Beam or you know whatever I wanted to, I end up going for a Toxic. Now, Toxic on Obama Snow uh, works well because when it Megas, as long as it's not carrying Giga Drain, it has no form of recovery. So that's going to help wear it down. And the fact that it's the Mega as well it just helps out because I put a time limit on it. Now, <clears throat> the <laughs> another thing that I wanted is at some point during this battle, I do want to get my stealth rocks up. So this way, I, every time that it would switch in, it would take 25% damage. and Or it could stay in if the stealth rocks were up and the toxic damage would help take it down. Now, we both end up switching out here. He goes into his Cabalion. I'm going into my Aggron. Now, <clears throat> at this point, I do want to just mega up. And I want to get my Stealth Rocks up. Normally what I do is when I bring in Sergeant Pepper is I'll T-Wave first. And then I'll end up going in for Stealth Rocks. But uh, for some reason I ended up just going for Stealth Rocks first. So we're all just going to take our rocks out of our pockets and throw them on the ground here. And now I don't know if uh, what his thought process was. But what he's going to end up doing is he's going to end up switching out now. And it turns out to be a really great play because I didn't know if he knew uh, I was going to go for a T-Wave or if he just wanted to bring this in. But I do end up going for the T-Wave and he blocks me completely because electric types no longer are able to be paralyzed this, uh, this generation. So now I'm in a little bit of a predicament. Is he going to overheat and take my Mega out or is he going to go for a Volt Switch? So I predict him to go for the Volt Switch and... Uh, because, like, I don't know, I figured overheat was too risky to predict. Because if I predict that and bring my Chandelier in, not only would I take Stealth Rock damage, but I'd take another Volt Switch damage. So, I figured he's probably going to Volt Switch. I'm just going to go for an Iron Head and hit anything that wants to come in. Because if I did T-Wave again and uh, predicting wrong, the Rotom would have uh, 
not been affected or the Cofagrigus who isn't really affected by T-Wave. So that comes in, hit it with an Iron Head, do you know decent damage to it. He does have leftovers, but now I'm going to take Sergeant Pepper's back. I don't want him to, you know, get burnt or anything or whatever this thing wants to do. So I'm going to go into my, my Milotic once again. Now, his play is he just went for a safe, a safe Shadow Ball. My Iron Heads weren't doing that much to him anyway, so that's a good solid play. Now, what I'm thinking in my head is now that I do outspeed, I can go for a recover because that make that's my best bet. You know, I want to keep my Milotic alive. It's a good defensive wall. Uh, my Milotic is a little funky, so I can be offensive as well. Now, as I was saying before, every time that the Obama Snow comes in, if I can keep baiting it to come in, it's going to lose that 25% each time, plus, you know, the buildup of the toxic damage if he remains of staying in. So now that I have drawn it in, uh, I don't have to stay in myself. So what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to call back my Milotic, and now I'm going to end up sending out my Aggron once again. Not only am I, you know, super effective with an Iron Head on it, but I figured I'd be, I should be able to take some kind of hit. But now he's going to Mega up as well. Mega Obama Snow is pretty cool looking too. So now that the Hail's up as well, he's going to go for a Blizzard. Uh, I, I thought, you know, I, I could have took it uh, a little bit better. It is resisted, but I also have absolutely no, you know, special defense investment or I don't even think I have 31 IVs in defense because it's from my uh, my black and white. So you'd be lucky to even get, you know, three IVs perfect. So uh, he ends up taking me out and finishing me off after I live with such a, a little amount of health. He takes me out with that priority ice shard. However, the damage on him is building up and he's uh, he's not liking that too much. So now I figured uh, I'm just going to bring in my Arcanine. I do take stealth rock damage as well. And thinking, I was like, oh yeah, nothing wants to take a Flare Blitz. Uh, apparently, I forgot that Vaporeon was still in there. So, we're going to end up going to a Flare Blitz. I was like, crap, this is probably going to do no damage. However, the Admiral is uh, very admirable. And <laughs> we end up getting a critical hit on the Flare Blitz, which is awesome because it does over 50%. I was like, holy wow, that is some real power. We do have the Life Orb to help us out. Now, at this point, I do carry the Wild Charge as well, so I figured, hey, let's go for it. Let's see how much it does, because since we're Life Orb, Stealth Rocks are up, we're not going to be doing too much switching in and out. So we do that, see how much it does, and it ends up taking the Vaporeon out, which is, you know, that's a good, you know, I didn't know if his set was Wish Protect, I didn't know if it was Toxic, Stall, like, I don't know. I have only seen it on switch-ins, but the Hail ends, we're still alive by just a little bit. Now, he's going to end up bringing his Cabalion in. Uh, there's nothing we can really do here. We're just going to end up going for uh, an E-Speed. Because if we switch out, something's just going to end up taking a hit. Probably a close combat. And uh, it's just not worth it with the Life Orb recoil. So, uh, Arcanine, do, like, short-lived, but did some work taking out the Vaporeon and, you know, clutching that crit hit as well. And if you think about it, he did even more work taking the close combat which drops the defenses of the Cabalion as well so now he could stay in or his forces switch out because of the defense drops he does choose to switch out and he's going to end up bringing in his Mew now there are a series of events here that work out well now I'm going to end up just going for the surf I want to see how much it does now at this point I'm thinking to myself all right I would really like to get a toxic on the Mew but the counterpart to that is if I do that, now I'm Toxic, and I will get the, the defense boost. However, Toxic can be a little difficult to maintain. Meanwhile, a very important play I just talked over is he ends up going for Defog, which takes away the rock. So now the Rotom Heat is going to be a problem again, and the Mega Obama Snow, I'm just waiting on you know the Toxic to build up on it now without the Stealth Rocks to help me along. But now he ends up going for the Will-O-Wisp, which is perfect. I was like, all right, great. I'll take a burn over a Toxic because it's easier to manage. And now I can go for a Toxic on the Mew. The Synchronize is not going to affect me because I'm already status. Now, at this point, he's going to go for a Roost. I'm going to go for a Recover. We got the same mindset here. We want these things to stay alive. Now, I'm just going to get all my health back. And now the perfect part is I do have all the special defensive investment 
plus the the marble scale boost because of the status infliction. Now here I am gonna end up going for the toxic after he Zen headbutts, which works out even better because the item on my uh, <laughs> on my Milotic is a rocky helmet, so that works out you know even more perfect. So now it's gonna be taking rocky helmet damage, toxic damage because its only move that it showed me is going to be uh, Zen headbutt, or its only attacking move. So now either he could stay and go for another Zen headbutt. Or he could switch out. Now I'm going to end up predicting the switch here. And now I'm going to end up going for a recover. Because, you know, I, I'd like some health back. Uh, it helps me out. At least I'm... Yes. Uh, I do go for the recover. Now the Obama Snow does come in. And, uh... I don't know. The, this is when I realized that the rocks weren't even up. And they didn't go down in damage at all. It is taking the toxic damage, but... Uh, I still would like a little bit more on that because this thing can still be a threat. Now, at this point, he's going to pull a double, uh, predicting me to switch out. But I really have, you know, not too much to fear. So I'm going to end up going for a Surf. Now, the Cabalion comes in. It is a neutral hit. I am modest, but no investment. I do get a crit. I don't know if it matters or not. Uh, but I'm pretty sure with the, the Marvel Scale boost, I could have taken a close combat or anything else that it wanted to throw at me as an attack. So the double switch there does not work, and now Comentina is just uh, is fearless at this point. Stays in on the Rotom for the Volt Switch, uh, ends up you know living it, taking it well, and what I mean by well is you know not dying. So now he's going to send in the the Mega Obama Snow, and being as fearless as Comentina is, just going to go for another surf, and uh, is going to end up almost killing the Mega Obama Snow. However, that Toxic does play a role here, and that is going to give me that one little push I needed to take out the Obama Snow. Now, Comentina is pretty much, you know, uh, done. There is no reason to still keep it in. Even though the rocks are, you know, uh, gone, it's just, it's at low health. It's taken out two pokes, you know, two very, you know, threatening Pokemon, and the Cabalion and the Mega Obama Snow. So it's definitely doing work. Now the Rotom is uh, showing me it's a leftovers variant. For for most of the battle, I did think that it was like a, a scar for a uh, a spec set. But now I can end up bringing in the Go Goat. He's gonna end up switching out and uh, going into his Mew. Now this part gets like a little uh, gets a little ah, uh, but I do carry Rock Slide on my. Go go just to stop like uh, Rotoms or you know flying types because I am running a bulk up set as well. So the basis behind this set is to force a switch, bulk up, uh, have them bring in you know flying type or usually Darmanitans and then hit them back with a uh, a rock slide because I am bulky enough to take a hit. Now he ends up going for the Zen head, but not only getting the crit but the flinch as well, and I was just like man that. <laughs> That definitely hinders what my plan was. Now I could have predicted the uh, the Will O Wisp, but uh, for some reason I just it wasn't something I wanted to do. It would have been a great play because then I could have forced the Mew out, subbed, and then started Shadow Bowling stuff. So uh, I end up getting a crit back of, of my own with the the Horn Leech, but really does not do too much. And now uh, he knows that he doesn't want to keep taking the toxic damage. So what he's going to end up doing is he's going to decide that he's going to, well, after I eat my berry, get a little bit of health back, keep myself alive for just a little bit longer. Now he's going to end up switching out his Mew, and he's going to bring in uh, the Cathagrius. Now, with the Cathagrius coming in, uh, a big wall itself, my I am burned, my Horn Leech is doing pretty much nothing. So now the counter to this is I really can't do anything to him, but at the same time, he really can't touch me either. Uh, he does have his leftovers, but my, my Horn Leech is doing enough where it like cancels out leftovers. That's how much damage I'm doing to him. Really, uh, nothing significant. Now, I, I figure my only thing I could really do here to try and get a little bit more damage on him is to go for a bulk up. He's going to go for uh, Shadow Balls, but that's doing uh, 
pretty much nothing to me either. So really, we're, we're kind of just sitting here in a little, a little stalemate. Now, I don't really want to bring anything in to end up taking the Shadow Ball, which is also my problem, is why I am almost forced to stay in here. Now, like, I don't want to bring my Chandelure in because that's my counter to the Cathagrius. Uh, my Yon Mega I didn't want to bring in because uh, I am... With, uh, my stab attack in Bug Buzz is resisted, and uh, I don't think Air Slash would be enough to kill it, and I don't need this thing taken down, you know, health for no reason, when I could just fodder off the Go-Goat. So, I, I'm surprised, you know, I am still wearing it down, you know, little by little, and I do need the Cathagrius, you know, a, as far away from full HP as I can, so that I can take it out with a Shadow Ball, uh, hopefully later if I get a situation like that. Now, the Go-Go finally goes down, which is good. Now, the Cathagrius is here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the bring in my Chandelure now. So now, I, I didn't really want to risk doing uh, predicting the switch and going for the sub. I figured it'd just be safer to go for uh, a Shadow Ball and take out whatever has to come in. If I did put the sub in there, that would have been, you know, uh, really, you know, great. That would have been good game right there. Uh, but now he's going to end up bringing in his Rotom. Now, I was afraid. I was like, oh, geez, I hope this isn't going to be, you know, faster than me because I, I really need to outspeed this. And when I did outspeed it, I was very surprised. I didn't think that I was going to. But he is definitely running more of a, a bulky variant of Rotom with enough speed to outspeed, you know, slower things. So with knowing that, I, I can pretty much lock this game up. And it really only comes down to is my Shadow Ball enough to take down the Cathagrius. But as you can see here, the the second Shadow Ball takes out the Rotom, and now his final Pokemon is going to be the Cathagrius, and I just need enough to take it down. I do still have my, um, my Yon Mega in my back pocket. So I am going to end up going for the Shadow Ball, and that is enough to take it out, and that is going to be the battle. Uh, LJ Dark Rye, you know, awesome battle. Anytime you want to battle again, you know, looking forward to it. But I hope you guys enjoyed this battle, and I'll catch you later. Bye.